Ashtapadirth, a famous place in the Jain tradition. It's in the direction of the Himalayas, but much, much further north, five 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 zero 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 kilometers away from Shatranjay, according to ancient texts. The world as we know it is much, much smaller than that given in our scriptures, and much of it is beyond our reach in this Kali Yuga. This is a huge subject with lots of metaphysics and geography. Not just the Jain scriptures, but also the Bible and many others' faiths present very similar accounts of geography. I am a scientist as well as a philosopher and a devotee of my God. I have unwavering faith, but I am able to test many things with science. And it's important not just to accept the status quo of science in the modern age, like the frog in the well. And to now consider the metaphor of the frog in the well, consider many unexplained things, the Bermuda Triangle, travelling beyond the poles. There is a significant movement with huge swathes of the earth, the flat earth, beyond the poles, and scientists being part of that movement too. Before judging any viewpoint, Consider Anekanta, see the video earlier on this channel and read about Plato's allegory of the cave in ancient Greek philosophy, which we will also do a future video on. To expand our horizons, our minds must be open and this is the essence of not judging and seeing beyond the well or the cave. This is the book, The World Beyond the Poles. Now with that, let's proceed on the chariot of faith on the journey of understanding Ashtapad. Right to the times of Adinat Bhagwan, the first Tirthankara, the 98 brothers took Diksha here in this very place of Ashtapad. The famous story of Bahubali, the 99th or the second oldest brother, and his Pratibod by Brahmi and Sundari occurred near Ashtapad, Mahatirth. Marichi, the son of Bharat Chakravarti, heard about his future incarnation being born as the 24th Dirtankara Mahavir Bhagwan near Ashtapad. And Ashtapad Ji was where Adinat Bhagwan, the first Dirtankar of this time cycle, attained Nirvan or Moksha. The first Swami Vatsadya Swatamik Bhakti of this time cycle occurred in Vinita Nagri near, Vinita Nagri, near Ashtapad Ji. And Ravan, most people have aspects of good and bad. And this was also the case with Ravan, who was here during the time of the 20th Dirtankara Munisarat Swami. And there is a story about the depth of his bhakti using his own vein to replace a broken veena string on the Mount Ashtapad. And Gautam Swami, the first disciple of Mahavir Bhagwan, much closer to our time, had many labdhis or powers he hardly used as a distract from the ultimate purpose of sadhana of moksha. But in this instance, for the spiritual purpose of reaching Ashtapad Ji, he had made use of his love tea. Now, where does that line come from? Jatari at das doya vandiya jinvar chavisam. Well, it's describing Ashtapadji as we approach it and the Tirthankaras that we see. So, as we approach Ashtapadji from Bharat or our world, we always approach from the south gate. And there, we see four Tirthankaras, Chattari, or four. At is eight. And proceeding around Ashtapadji to the west gate, one would see and praise and pray to in Bhav Puja, eight Tirthankar Bhagwans, from Shupashwanath to Anantanath Bhagwan. In the north gate, we next proceed, thus, ten Tirthankaras. And finally, in the East Gate, there's two Tirthankaras, Rishabhya Bhagwan and Ajitnan Bhagwan. And the reason they are in this formation, or one explanation, is they are the actual size is in real life. And we know Rishabhya Bhagwan, Ajitnan Bhagwan, as the time cycle progresses, the size of men and at that time of the Tirthankaras and all gets less. I will try in the future to do a dedicated video about our beautiful Tirths and pilgrimage places like Ashtapadji, Girnar, Balidana, Samachikarji, and their rich, rich heritage, stories, things to learn from. And while we may never be able to reach Ashtapad ourselves in this life, in this Kali Yuga, in this time, 
we can understand it. Go on a Bhao Yatra and Bhao Puja, which I hope this video has managed in a small portion to do. Having heard this detail about Ashtapadji, we will explore the fifth line of a prayer called the Siddharam Buddharam Stotra recited during Pratikaman and Nevandan, which references Ashtapadji, the topic of our Bhao Yatra today. If you like this and the rest of the video, do click on the link below in the comments to the video that explores the whole five lines of the Siddharam Buddharam Stotra. Chattari Atta Dasa Doya Vandiya Jinvar Chauvisam Parmatta Nitti Atta Siddha Siddhi Mam Disantu May the 24th year Thangkaras who have been liberated and attained the Siddha state grant me the boon of salvation. Parmatta Nitti Atta Parmart means the highest truth or salvation. Those that have attained the highest truth or salvation or moksha or the state of Siddha Siddha Siddhi Mam Disantu O Siddhas, do you grant me the boon of salvation, i.e. following the path defeat, to defeat all the inner enemies through inner resolve and resolution to defeat all inner enemies of karma. See the completeness and the poetry of the sutra. We start in one, offering obeisance and remembering Siddhas, and so the sutra completes in the same way.